Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Anira Sadowska and I'm a swimmer and fashion photographer and I show you what I do and how I do it on this channel. And today I have a very special video for you. If you're like me and you hate slaving your life away to Photoshop, spending hours and hours in post-production, and you wish there was an app that could just take it all away with one click, batch edit your photos, edit skin, edit any imperfections out, then I have great news for you. Today's sponsor, Aperty, is a brand new software developed by Skylum in collaboration with fellow YouTuber Julia Trotti, and it's aimed to do just that, and I want to show you everything about it. I want to talk about all the specs and features and let you know how I feel about it. I will be editing photos using it. I will be showing you befores and afters, and we can get right into it. First, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the app and then we can go ahead and edit using the software. Aperty provides a very customizable experience when it comes to editing. There's a lot of sliders. You can adjust everything to your liking, which is super important to me because I want to have full control over how the end results look. And the end results do look really good. They are seamless when it comes to skin and blemish retouching. You also can add makeup if you want to, which is one of the new features that I'm really excited about. You can also change the body and face shape and features and you can also batch edit which is super important for a lot of people especially if you're the likes of a wedding or an event photographer and you're dealing with a number of photos. Aperty also introduces some groundbreaking innovations like the 3D face mesh for more accurate results. It also has face and body segmentation with advanced algorithms that detect up to 30 body parts and it also has synthetic data sets that elevate its AI-powered performance. Aperty works as a standalone app, or you can use it with Photoshop, Lightroom, or Mac OS Photo app. So you have unlimited options based on what your workflow is, and it makes it super simple. I thought what better way to talk about the program than to actually show you how it works. Um, I have a bunch of images that I selected. I shot them during my workshop that I run in Bali with Irene Rudnick last year. And I actually never done anything with the photos, so I thought it would be kind of fun to just show you the ins and outs of how they work. So um, these are some of the images. I actually have color graded and own color graded versions because Aperty does actually include some really cool presets that I wanted to show you. Uh, and this is like the little before and after, I guess, um, of what I color graded in Lightroom. And then we'll see how it works within the program as well. And then let's get right into the program and let's talk about it a little bit. So first thing first, we have a bunch of different things here on the side, on the menu. We have presets, we have masking, crop, essentials, retouch, reshape, creative, and then just info and undo. So we're going to start with some of the presets. We're going to do maybe color presets first. Uh, there's some presets that are designed by Julia Trotti and then some of them that were just installed within the program as well. So as you see here, we have sunlit glow and all of them are sliders. So you can just kind of adjust and see how much you want. Obviously, if you go full speed, it might be a bit much, but if you go halfway, it might be much nicer. There's soft blush as well, which I actually really like. I think it's a really nice preset. Uh, let's do golden hour, ocean breeze and pure light. I might actually choose a different photo just because this one is very golden-y already. So it might be just a little bit much. Let's maybe go for one of these here. Let's do sunlit glow, soft blush, which is nice. Golden hour, ocean breeze and pure light. I actually kind of like ocean breeze. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it adds a little bit of warmth to the image, but also um, there is creative pres presets as well, which is, I guess, something a bit more fancy. And I actually do really like the whispered hues. There's also vintage film, which has a little bit of a grain, which is nice. There's also enchanted mist, stellar bokeh. Um, that's actually really nice. I actually like it. This is the closest to what I've edited on my own. This is what I edited and this is the stellar bokeh. Um, and then we have golden haze as well. I personally prefer the stellar bokeh, but um, this is just one. And then we can go into retouch. And these are also retouched by uh, Julia Trotti. So you have a number of retouch presets that she created herself. You have flawless skin, and I'm not sure if it affects the color or not. Natural radiance, which is like a preset that edits the skin. Golden veil, 
So this one actually uses color and skin editing. There's amber soft, that's kind of interesting. And then tangerine glow as well, maybe golden veil. So you could potentially do that or maybe natural radiance or amber soft. So for example, if you want to just use some retouching, then maybe use natural radiance. It doesn't have any other filter on. There we go, like a little before and after. It's just skin editing. So for example, here is an image that is already color graded by me, maybe this one. Let's do natural readings. And as you see here, it applies the presets straight away, which is really nice. If you want to have full control and not really use presets, then that's not a problem at all. Uh, we have a bunch of different things here. We have masking if you want to. You have canvas and crop. You have essentials, which again here, I don't really need as much because I've already pre color graded these images. Let's go into retouching skin. Okay, so here's the original image that I'm going to be working on. Um, as you see here, we have all individual female, male, teen, child, elderly. So for example, if you have an image where there's multiple people, like in this shot here, there will be two people coming up and you can edit them separately, which is great because a lot of programs don't have it and it's very frustrating when the settings apply either to just one person or it's both of them and there is no adjustment. So I definitely appreciate that. I'm gonna grab this image here because it's a closer-ish portrait and we're gonna go through the retouching section. So as you see here, we have with skin blemish, we have blemish removal, we have freckles removal, and then you can have details, face skin, skin smoothing, details, uh, face skin color correction, dark circles removal, face bright and shine removal. For eyes, you have iris visibility, iris flare, redness removal, eye whitening, eye enhancement. Then you have mouth and makeup as well, which makeup you can add cheeks, cheeks and nose, there's contour, highlights, eyeliner, lips, and so on. So we're going to start with blemish removal. We're going to maybe go halfway. That's kind of how I usually like to start. My model here doesn't have a lot of blemishes, but you see, uh, especially around her forehead, there is definitely some that are getting removed, which I really like. And then you can do freckle removal. She doesn't really have any freckles and I actually love freckles, so I wouldn't really remove them in the first place. Now next, if you want to smooth your skin a little bit, you can do skin smoothing. And there is a detail slider as well, so you can pre preserve as much skin detail as possible, which I really appreciate. So as we see here, Gonna do a little before and after. It's already much cleaner. And then there's face skin color correction, which to be honest, I don't think we necessarily need because her skin looks pretty good. Uh, but then we're gonna do the dark circles removal because she definitely has a sample before and after. There we go. Then there's face brighten. If you did want to brighten it, I don't think we need it because her face was pretty balanced as, as it was. That's not really something that we necessarily need. Um, shine removal. For eyes, you have iris visibility, um, iris flare, which just adds flare to the eyes. I might just add a little bit because it looks cool, but I'm not gonna go crazy. Then redness removal. So if you go into the iris, redness removal, it just gets rid of some of the redness. You can whiten the eyes as well. I do like to whiten the eyes a slight bit. I don't like to overdo it because it looks a little bit fake otherwise. And then eye enhancements, just make it kind of clearer. So again, you don't want to really overdo it. So we'll just go down a little bit. Now with mouth, there's teeth whitening and teeth brightening. We don't really see teeth in this photo, so we're gonna skip it. And then makeup. So we can do cheeks or cheeks and nose. We can do blush. I think that's kind of cool. Obviously it's a lot, but I think we can just make it really, really slight. Or we could just do cheeks. So if you feel like adding a little bit of blush, and contour, you can add some contour and it contours her uh, nose and her face. Obviously this is way too much, but if we add a tiny little bit and highlights, I don't really think we need a lot of highlights because there's already a lot. And I think these are very slight, tiny adjustments that you want to do. Eyeliner and then eyebrow enhancement, if you did want to do that. I don't necessarily think we need it. And then lips, if you wanted to make them redder or darkened. I don't really want either one of that because her lips are already pretty. Okay, so here's the little before and after. Let's see. It looks great. And now that we have this image done, I can just copy all the settings. There's also a reshape that you can do. You can do face slimming if you want to. There's eyes, you can reshape them. You can change the nose size, mouth, body if you'd like to. I usually don't really do a lot of that, so I will leave it as it is, but it is an option here. For example, lip position, you could just bring them up or down. You could change the nose shape. There's also creative light control, scene settings. There's a light source setting, so you can add an additional light and make it colorful even if you wanted to. So if you wanted a little bit of something, something coming from another side, 
you could try and do that. I'm going to press Command C, which is copy, and then I'm gonna select these and do paste. And just like that, in a matter of seconds, we have a brand new image fully edited from start to finish, which I really love. I might actually get rid of the relight because it does something slightly weird. Let's see, and then we're going to paste edits here. I just want to show you guys the skin without any extra craziness. So as you see, just like that, in a matter of a few simple clicks, we got a whole new edit. What I love about this program is how much ease you have in terms of adjusting everything. Everything is a slider. There isn't really much of a learning curve with this program. You just go step by step and you add things and you adjust as you go. With a lot of the programs, especially if you're working in the likes of Photoshop, there's so much work and there's so much behind it that you have to learn and figure out. And here it's just not the case. So I really enjoy that part about it. Let's get into this image. I actually want to get back to the preset and I want to go into creative maybe the whispered hues. I just want to go through them and see how they work. Vintage film. I actually really like the vintage film for this one. I think it looks really nice. Okay, so this one actually blurs the background more, which is very interesting. So if you look at the before and after, it's way more blurred. I just don't really love the color on her skin. But again, here, even with that, you can just adjust everything. So if you don't like how it looks, you can just um, go step by step and deselect things, which is very nice. I think I like the vintage film for this one. I think it's actually really cool. And then if you want to go into the glow, you can go into portrait bokeh and probably these um, blur some of the background, which is really cool. What I also love about the program is the fact that it doesn't share your information with third parties. You do it within the program, so the photos are not sent anywhere. They're not viewed by anybody. So if privacy is a big concern for you, this is definitely the program for you to try. I'm going to go into this image as well. And we already have settings here. We're going to do more skin smoothing. We might actually um, remove some shine here just because it's very bright. So this is a little before and after on this one using the preset. And this is what I originally came up with. I have to say it's like very bright, so I definitely would have to adjust it. But if I go to settings, the essentials, I can also do that manually. So I can add contrast, lower the highlights and the shadows make it a bit more punchy. Color, I can do vibrant saturation. So it has all the other functionalities that the other programs have. And then let's go into this and do the same portrait bokeh. Maybe not as much, maybe a little bit. And just like that, we have way more blurriness. So this is the edit with Julia's presets and this is the edit with my presets. Let's go and look at one more picture here quick before we wrap up. This is another picture um, with my model in the shot. So we're going to do the usual. I would probably consider blemish removal the main feature for me that I really love. So I will just probably go full way and then just work on details here and then maybe do a little bit of face smoothing. I just want to keep the skin as natural as possible so I don't want it to be too blurry. And that's a pretty good amount for me. And then we're going to go into facial skin correction, see if there's anything we can do. I think this looks pretty good. And then maybe dark circles removal because my model is a little bit tired looking, I guess. Just like this, this is a good amount for me. And then we don't really want any shine removal. Maybe I'll add a bit more skin smoothing actually, just a little bit. There we go. And then eyes, you can't really see much because again, it's um, Iris and she's looking down. There is teeth whitening if you wanted to do that. And then there is blush, different makeup that you can add. I will not really be doing too much of that. And then after that, if you want to, you can change her facial features or slim down. So for example, if you want to slim somebody's face down, or if you want to change the shape of her eyes or the eyebrow arch, if you want it to point up a little bit like she's surprised, then this is a good way to go about it. Um, and then there's also shape of the body. So if you want to, you can make somebody look smaller or bigger, which is also really helpful. Once we have that, I'm going to go into the presets. I want to see if I can enhance the final image that I have that I color graded myself. Let's try the whispered hues, vintage film. I actually really love the vintage film together with the edit that I've already done before. So maybe we would just go up to 40. 
I actually really love that. I think that looks really good. It has a really nice glow on the body. The skin looks great on the face. The background is a little bit darkened and it creates some separation. There is a little bit of grain. I actually really like it. I think it creates such a nice seamless result. Now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to go into these three photos and then we're gonna go here, here, here. There's probably gonna be some adjustments to do, but we'll see. We're gonna select these and then do pa paste edits. Oh, I think once you apply the um, creative preset, it removes the changes that you made yourself. So you have to remake the settings. So just keep that in mind. I actually really love how it came out. I think it's beautiful and I love the colors. So I love the fact that I can just grab one setting and just paste it onto all the other photos without any effort and it takes minutes. And then once I'm ready to export, I just export all the images and I'm basically done. So if you're dealing with a wedding gallery or a group photo shoot and there's a lot going on, then this is gonna simplify your workload by loads. I love the amount of control you have over your settings. I love the amount of control you have over over the edits and the final results. I love that it's adjustable and it also doesn't send your photos anywhere. So it's really good in terms of privacy. And overall, I think it's a really solid program. It just launched, so I'm really uh, excited to see what kind of upgrades they do in the near future as well. And I'm really excited for you guys to try it out. So if you like what you see and you wanted to try it out, make sure to click the link in the description below, download it, give it a go, see how you like it. And I hope you love it as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.